Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. The recipe we are about to prepare is a scrumptious dish of the Tex-Mex cuisine. Steak fajitas. Perfectly seared beef strips tossed with sautéable peppers and then served with soft tortillas. The ultimate crowd-pleasing party food. And let's begin. Everybody loves Tex-Mex. It's the easiest way to give pleasure to your friends, to your family, or everybody who wants something very, very street, country, and sexy. Now, the first thing we have to prepare is the veggies, because to make a proper a fajitas, we need to prepare some veggies, some meat, or if we are vegetarian, just the veggies, some sour cream or yogurt, some guacamole, some pitas. So, the first thing I have to prepare is my veggies. For my veggies, I have simply the things that you have at home. So I have some onion, some peppers, and some chilies, okay? So I have a pan, non-stick, on heat, and I want to be extremely hot because I want to caramelize my veggies. I will thinly slice my onion and my peppers, and I will add them gradually to my pan. First, I will add the onion, my friend likes, okay? Onion. Onion is done, and onion goes into the pan. I need to add a little bit of extra virgin Greek olive oil. I know that probably in South America they are not using olive oil for this recipe, but I will. It's healthier, nicer, and more Greeky. So I will make fajitas Greek way, not Greek way. Actually, it will be Greek way because I will use a yogurt instead of sour cream. But anyway, it's healthier and tastier, okay? The onion goes in and now it's time for the peppers. I have yellow, orange and green bell pepper. And again, I will do the same thing. I will thinly slice them the same way. And as you can see, I'm not adding them to the pan from the very start because I want first the caramelization of the onion and then I will add my peppers. Because if you put them all together, probably they will not caramelize proper. So, the peppers are almost ready. And again, thinly slice them. Now, the peppers goes in. As you can see, my onion is already caramelized. Now, if you have other colors of peppers, like red one, or pink one, or whatever, just use them. You can add any peppers you like. And of course, we need to be a little bit spicy. So I'm using two chilies with the seeds because I want to become extremely spicy. Some people will laugh for me because two chilies in a recipe, it's not spicy for them. But for Greeks, it's spicy, okay? And what I have to do now, my friend, like this, saute them, I will add some salt, some pepper, during this time, I will prepare my meat. Here I have a chakai. If you have any kind of beef, you can use it for this recipe. I want a little bit fatty part of meat, but actually I want to be tender at the same time. So don't buy any tough cut of uh, beef. We need some tender, nice and fatty cut of beef. Now I have my chakai here and I will cut into thin strips because I want to cook them through very, very fast, very quickly. And I want to make sure that all the strips can easily wrap by a tortilla. If I have big chunks, nobody can consume easily these big chunks of meat, and nobody can wrap them into a tortilla. You got it like this? What other kind of uh, meat can you use for this recipe? So, anyway, my beef is ready, and during the time of the caramelization of my veggies, I will make sure that my meat will marinate into some olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. So my meat is here. I need some extra virgin Greek olive oil. Don't forget, when you're adding olive oil to a cut of meat, it will soak it up and it will become very, very tender. So give it some time. Salt and pepper. Mixy mix and set it aside because we want it to portion it and set it aside for about five minutes to make sure that the beef will come to a room temperature. 
That will make sure that we will not overcook the meat and we will cook it very, very fast. Now, what do you think about my veggies, my friend Lakis? Now, we will caramelize them with some vinegar, honey, and smoked paprika. Actually, we will make a sweet and sour sauce in over here. Now, mix and mix everything and let them cook for approximately five to 10 minutes until they're completely cooked, caramelized, and ready to eat. And lucky, look at this caramelization. What do you think? I think it's perfect. It is absolutely stunning. Now, take all the peppers. They're quite spicy. Don't forget, two chili peppers, if you use the seeds. Mm, they are quite effective. Caramelized, but spicy effect. Oh my God. You can feel all this caramel, but to the very end, you can feel the hint of the chilies. Oh my God. And with the same pan, I will just wipe it a little bit because I don't want to burn all this caramelization. Then I will let it on sheet until it becomes extremely hot. We want to be extremely hot because in a few seconds, we will have the meat almost clean. Very nice. And if you don't have this huge pan like mine, then you have to divide into two portions the meat. Do not overcrowd the pan because actually you will boil the meat instead of caramelize it. And start adding your meat. I think mine is quite big to put all the amount of meat. Oh my God. And the only thing that I have to suggest, the secret to success in this recipe is not over flipping everything. Just leave the pan to make all the job. It was extremely hot. We want to cook through the meat, but we don't want to overcook it. If we start stirring, flipping, probably what will happen? The meat will start taking out all the water and actually we will boil the meat. Now, if you can see, my meat start taking a perfect color. All this caramelization is on the meat. And as you can see carefully, I'm just flipping once the meat. I am patient. And if I leave any piece a little bit medium or medium rare, I don't mind, okay? Because I want to have this lovely flavor of the meat. Now, here I have some guacamole. If you want to make your own guacamole, you can follow my recipe at my YouTube channel. Here I have some Greek yogurt. You can use uh, sour cream instead. And uh, here I have some lovely tortillas, which you can leave them as it is, or you can cut them or quarter them to make small bites for everybody. I will quarter them because I want to make it more, more Greeky. In Greek, we have meze, so we're taking a small bite of everything. I think those should be enough here. Maybe I will add some more. And the only thing that's missing from this lovely plate is my meat and, of course, some cheese, some coriander, and some limes. I will cut the limes here because I want to make it more like an experience instead of food. So if somebody wants to try something, you have to pick a little bit of everything. Some guacamole, or some cheese, or some steak, or some Greek yogurt, whatever he wants. Yes, here. Of course, I love the coriander. If you want to make some fajitas, you need to use some coriander. Coriander is the secret to success. And look at this. Now is actually the time that we can stir everything together because we want all the juices to come together, taste everything good, and actually cook them through. Now, I need to try. Lovely. And I will not carry on cooking because I don't want to overcook my meat. I will let it as it is, juicy, nice, and sexy. Oh my God. Now, I will take a tortilla. I will add my veggies. I will add some meat. I will add some sour cream and some guacamole. I will make a small gyros, but instead of tzatziki, I will use some yogurt. Instead of gyros, I will use some lovely beef, and I will enjoy. It 
It's absolutely stunning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make comments under the video and share this lovely recipe with your friends. Don't forget to follow on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Viber and TikTok. Until next time, bye bye, yes, guys. I will squeeze a little bit of lime on the top of it. Oh my God, this is yummy. Mm.